I don't usually film with this camera, at least not myself, so I have no clue if this is going to work, but I just slid down a cool slope that I couldn't climb down because of the snow was just crazy, and then realised that the camera I was trying to record it with didn't record it. I don't think. I think the battery had run out because I hadn't charged it. Um, so I'm going to try again because it's just an excuse to go sliding down a slope again. Um, I got quite warm climbing back up, so I've ditched the hat and we'll see what happens. I think that's my sliding marks. There was someone tobogganing down here before, but I don't think it looked that smooth until I decided to slide down it. <laughs> Trying to work out where to put my feet. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go for it again. Hopefully my excitement will be as genuine as the first time. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, well, that's faster than last time. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't do it there last time. <laughs> That was so cool. I'm gonna climb back up and do it again. <laughs> I'm like a little kid in the snow. After a lot of wet weather, the sun finally came out and I headed to Savater de Van to check out the medieval city. The views of the mountains in the distance were stunning, and even with the muddy, flooded river after all the rain, it was a beautiful spot. I don't think there's any way for me to properly sum up how stunning the view here is with the mountains covered in snow and the shapes of them and it's got that thing where like the little light on it is just making it go all glary so honestly you just have to be here and see it <laughs> I don't know if this will work no it's not gonna work yeah so just have to come and see really it looks amazing that can you just think how much better that looks in real life I was enjoying the sunshine and the quiet location so much I decided to stay put for the night only to discover that the church bells ring all night I had assumed they'd stop after 10, and at 11 I was hopeful for them stopping at midnight, but they went on all night long and are incredibly loud. I only recommend staying there if you're not sensitive to sound and can wear earplugs. Oh man, the absolute happiness. I just came along the path and went, oh, that looks like wild garlic. And of course it is, so I have a bunch. <laughs> it smells so good. I wasn't actually sure if you got wild garlic in France. So the answer is yes, you get wild garlic. It is um, it's a noisy church. Oh, there's even more. Maybe I'll go put this in some water in the van and then come back. Um, it's been in my hands a while, so it's getting wilted because I was on the phone. Um, yeah, maybe I'll come back in the morning and grab some before I head off, because I think half of this is going in dinner. Oh, that's my shadow. Look who's coming in. Hi there. 
So it's a good place to hide on a hot day. I found an awesome, soggy, sun-facing wall that had so much wildlife on it, I was entertained examining it for quite a while. I almost trod on this little dude. Oh, he's gone. From there I headed to Oloran saint marie in search of Wi-Fi, a shower and snow chains. To drive into the mountains in France in the winter months, you legally have to have snow chains with you, even if the roads are looking clear. I'd wanted to get snow chains for a stream in Scotland last winter, but the cost of them in the UK was insane. In these parts of France, you can just pick them up in a hypermarket and they're a lot, lot cheaper. I was lucky enough to have a good swimming pool experience whilst I was in the town. A rare thing. I had the pool to myself most of the time I was swimming. I made a quick stop in Laren to pick up a postcard for my nephew and had a stroll to stretch my legs before continuing into the mountains in search of snow. I couldn't resist, resist. Oh, <laughs> the snow's deep. <laughs> this isn't the compacted bit that people have been on in snowshoes. Um, <clears throat> could not resist driving into the mountains for some snow time because I couldn't go for a whole winter without snow. And I was missing the mountains. And I was down by the sea, I realised. I love the sea, but I can live without it and I cannot live without the mountains. Um, I think because... I love like moving water, so the ocean makes me incredibly happy. But uh, I get that in the mountains as well, because there's always like waterfalls and streams and rivers and everything, and just bird watching. Oh, it looks like it's having fun. I would like to come back as a bird in my next life, please. Um, a very, relatively big one that means I can soar. Um, I don't want to be flapping all the time. I just want. The ease of soaring. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of beautiful. And um, I just played getting down a slope and uh, <laughs> the snow was too deep, it went to like my knees. Um, <laughs> so I just sat down and slid down something, just met a family that had been tobogganing and I'm trying to work out whether I can get down the next slope without getting stuck. It'll be fun trying to get back up to the van. <laughs> I made a snow angel and now I'm a bit stuck. <laughs> oh, the snow makes me so happy. Uh oh. How do I get out of my snow angel without wrecking it? Okay, guys, come with me. <laughs> Slide. I have no clue if this is going to work. It's really hard work walking up a slope in the snow. Uh oh. I'm going, I'm going to my knee, trying not to lose my boots. <laughs> Look, there's my home.
And there she is, another snow angel. Look, I made a friend. <laughs> do a smile, do a smile, do a smile. Someone wants to play. <laughs> do a smile, do a smile, do a smile. Whoa, do a smile. whoa, you're bigger than me. <laughs> Hey, now you're going that way. It's time to go. No, that way. What are you doing? That way. <laughs> I just uh, made a, a dog friend. I'm not a huge dog person. I am, um, <laughs> along along with being sensitive to loud sounds, bright lights, bright nature sometimes, and um, I also am very sensitive to strong smells. And most dogs just smell too much for me. Um, and I'm also allergic to some. But it just came and wanted to lie on me on the snow and I think because I'm in like full waterproofs I felt a bit safer than usual <laughs> and it was all fluffy. I guess I haven't had a hug for a while so I had a bit of a hug with a dog. There was this moment with a dog walking beside me on the street when I was like oh okay it'd be kind of nice to have a little pal walking alongside you. I kind of get why people have dogs. Quiet ones, not ones that bark. <laughs> Okay, now I promise one last time because climbing back up is getting tiring. Uh oh. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> I made it all the way down to the bottom bit. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I think I've got snow. I realised it's a little bit strange that it's 20 past 6 uh, and it's light and the reason I'm confused is because there's snow outside and usually when I'm in the snow it's and it's like Feb or March I'm in um, the Scottish Highlands and it would be dark probably at this definitely at this time of the evening so it's very confusing to my brain I'm like what time is it is it late yeah it's well it's not late but it, I do need to think about food at some stage and um it's still light outside. <laughs> it's uh, watching the rainy, snowy stuff from inside the van kind of morning. It looks like snow up there, but it sounds like rain on the roof. <laughs> it's not not quite fluffy enough. Uh, possible mega kiki fail last night. I am um, in the afternoon parked up somewhere under some trees and not on paved ground, but it was super hard. I checked it really hard and I thought that'll be fine. And then it rained more than I thought was possible last night and then it's been snowing all morning and I'm now parked in a huge puddle and I'm not entirely sure if the van's going to get out of it. So I think I'm going to have one attempt. If it's moving nowhere before I scrape up all the ground I'm going to have to get into my roof box for my uh, mats and just shove them under the tyres and see if that works. I don't usually like opening my roof box when it's raining or snowing because stuff gets in and then it, it gets damp in there and I keep like my spare duvet have two duvet covers a winter and a summer and I had ditched the I double them up when it's really cold and I had ditched the lighter weight one into the roof box anyway lots of stuff in the roof box that I don't want to get wet um and also the only quick way to do it is to open my side door and use my little step so that also means the side of the van gets wet somewhere that doesn't then ventilate well in cold weather I'm feeling a little bit stressed I really needed a chill day and I'm feeling a bit stressed so Maybe it will just somehow roll out of this. Wish me luck. I got lucky. Somehow the van rolled out of it and uh, didn't get stuck. I rolled back a tiny bit and then just went forward. I think I was on an ever so slight slope. Uh, so maybe I should always park on a slope. Um, I'm very relieved that I didn't have to faff and try and get out of that because I was getting a bit nervous that I might actually just be stuck. <laughs> and because uh, the snow's come so much lower down now, 
the hills look really beautiful. I wasn't expecting this while I was driving, so I looped around and pulled over somewhere to take a stroll up the hill in the rain to check it out. It's all a bit religious for me, but at least it motivated me for a walk in the pouring rain when I'd usually just hide in the van. It has been raining and snowing for ages and the sun just suddenly came out, the skies cleared. Honestly, it was like chucking it down, I don't know, I didn't expect the skies to suddenly clear, but it's a relief. So I managed to get all the doors open and stuff, try some things out and spot the hills in the distance. A little bit of snow on the top. Yeah. 